welcome ladies and gentlemen to the sixth episode of the Olympic Journey. My name is Thomas Bickler and this is Joshua Jeffress and we're coming to you from the UK today from the Waveney Gymnastics Club. Now once again we're going to kick off with a bit of gymnastics news. Both the Great British and the US team was announced this week with Lewis Smith, Daniel Purvis, Sam Oldham, Christian Thomas and Max Whitlock making the Great British team and a casualty there being Daniel Keating who missed out on that team, Josh. Yeah, that's right, mate. Um, it's a big, big shame for Daniel uh, not making the Olympics. Um, he was uh, 2009 uh, silver all-round medalist uh, at World Championships and then uh, all-round champion of the 2010 Europeans. So, um, so yeah, it's a, it's a big shame for him. Yeah, it certainly is. Now, over to the US, uh, we have Jonathan Horton, Sam McCulloch, John Orozco, Jake Dalton, and also Lieva making the team there. Uh, I guess Steve Legendre is the big casualty from the US team. What are your thoughts there? Yeah, mate, he's, uh, he's, a, he's a medal chance on floor um, for sure. So uh, I'm sure there's a lot of floor specialists out there uh, who'll be uh, rubbing their hands uh, that he's missed out. But um, again, yeah, big shame for him as well. Yeah. Now, Josh, I guess there's some super teams that have been announced there. I guess both of them would be eyeing off a, a team medal. I guess, uh, what are your thoughts in terms of any, any predictions you want to put out there in terms of the US and the Great British teams and picking up a medal? Well, yeah, I think, um, I think China will go one, Japan two, and then it'll, between, it'll be between uh, America and, um, and Great Britain for third, I reckon. Um, so I'll, uh, I'd like to say I'll put my money on Great Britain. I think it'd be nice for them to, to get a, a bronze at their home, home Olympics. That's right, and that hometown advantage always, uh, always is a massive boost and a positive uh, so all the best to both the teams and uh, hopefully they, they, they represent their country as well. Alright, as mentioned we are in the UK and uh, we travelled over from Brisbane on Tuesday. Um, I guess Josh's biggest fans, uh, mum and dad and also his biggest sponsors, Bill and Alison, were at the airport to, to see us off. As you can see the photo there, they've got a nice little t-shirt made up, uh, looking good. <laughs> Yeah, mate, uh, with my ugly mug on there, mate, it's, uh, it's pretty funny, but, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Probably devalues the t-shirt <laughs> just a little bit more. <laughs> From the $2, Chinese has gone down to $1. <laughs> That's it. We'll be selling them, too, for, uh, for $2 if you want to buy one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll cross his mug out on the front. <laughs> Worth a bit more. Nah, nah, great job there, Bill and Alison. The shirts look great. And uh, yeah, as you mentioned, uh, proudly sponsored by mum and dad on the side. <laughs> Get that on the telly over in London, that'd be good. <laughs> yeah, thanks, mum and dad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, well, we spent the last 20, well, we spent 24 hours on a plane to get uh, over from Brisbane to London. Had a large stop over in Singapore, which is a bit of a pain. After that, we had our four hours on the ground and a bus trip from, from London to Waveney, where we are today. Uh, yeah, Josh, uh, how'd you find the travel over here? Yeah, it was a long travel, mate. I watched a couple of movies um, and uh, was one of those annoying passengers that sits there and laughs at all the comedies. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his noise cancelling earphones in, laughing really loud, just, <laughs> just to give everyone the, the <laughs> annoying wall, I guess. <laughs> No, it wasn't too bad, mate. I spent most of it trying to suffocate bugs in the house. <laughs> yeah, Josh did plenty of sleeping, especially on the bus trip from the airport to here. Here's a photo of him sleeping. Unfortunately, the bus driver took us on a, a two-hour detour around London, pretty much went around London, and then headed east to, to where we are here. Uh, Josh didn't miss out on any of that fun because no, no, he was sleeping. Well. <laughs> Thanks for the extra detour. I got a bit, a bit of extra sleep. There. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, once we arrived here in Waveney, we, we went straight to the accommodation, then a uh, quick shower and headed over to the local pub, the, the Flying Dutchman, which opened up early for us to watch the State of Ocean. Josh Queensland taking it out for the seventh time. Mate, Thanks. fantastic, uh, especially uh, watching it with uh, John Curtin, uh, a proud New South Wales supporter. Um, <laughs> so it was good for us to be there and uh, get one on him again. So um, good on you, Jono, and uh, go, go Queensland. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> John wasn't happy with the result, as you can imagine, a New South Welshman. I guess after that, we head into the gym uh, in the afternoon, had a bit of stretch. I guess. Uh, we didn't want to do too much training after 30 hours of transit and travel, um, just, to t just to be on the safe side, just stretched and, and uh, warmed up the body a little bit. I guess the next day the, the Olympic torch passed through uh, the local town here and uh, the community got involved and, and following the torch relay that went through, 
Uh, they held a little bit of a, an Olympic themed barbecue, that noisy barbecue. And the president of the gymnastics club here, he actually ran with the, with the torch. So that was a, a proud moment for him and it was good to get everyone in the club involved. I guess we had a bit of a barbecue. They welcomed us officially. There's a couple of happy snaps up at the moment. Uh, both of us got to, got to hold, um, hold the Olympic torch and have a bit of a look at that up close and personal. That was really, really cool. And uh, I, guess, uh, I guess it was an all around nice day. Any thoughts there, Josh? Yeah, mate, it was just, um, oh, well, you know, we were both overwhelmed by the amount of support and, um, and, and generosity as well uh, that they've been giving us um, since we've been here. It's been fantastic, so thank you very much, uh, Waverly Gymnastics Club and, and John and Chloe and, and all the staff behind all that. And uh, um, we, we met the MP and the, and the uh, Lord Mayor and... Uh, There's a couple of photos of them up now. <laughs> so that, that was great to meet everyone and uh, to be uh, formally um, welcomed into their, their lovely town of uh, Laosoff. So it's, it's, it's beautiful over here. Yeah, so no, it, was, it was good fun, and we met all the kids, signed autographs, took plenty of photos, and uh, yeah, I guess it was good to have the crowd come out and, and show us a bit of support, especially to Joshy, he's going to be heading to London in, in no less than two weeks. Now, I guess uh, moving on, we have had a few serious days here, not just all fun. Uh, back to your training, how's that been going the last couple of days? Take us through what you've been doing. Yeah, training's been going really well, mate. I've I'm, I'm, uh, been getting settled in uh, really quickly over here. The, the gym over equipment's all, all smick and brand new, so it's... Uh, it's all really nice to train on, as you know, and um, yeah, we uh, we did some uh, all-round uh, prep um, over the last few days, just getting into half routines. Um, did a, an enormous circuit strength uh, today, <laughs> which is huge. Uh, we'll be sleeping the rest of the weekend, I think, after that. So no, but just building up fitness and getting confidence, and uh, just just trying to do everything right. Yeah, I guess the main important the main important thing there was to get used to the gym over equipment, which is what Josh will be competing on in a couple of weeks' time. Get used to the different feel of the, the apparatus, the P bars, and things like that. And uh, I guess build up build up our, uh, our time difference from from Brisbane to, to here as well. Get get into that sleeping pattern. I've been waking up at five o'clock, sorry four o'clock every morning, which is a bit of a pain. But I'll get over in the next couple of days, and I'll be right in the swing of things. So now we're going to head over to viewer questions. Uh, Bill from the Gold Coast asked, uh, do you follow any special diets? Yeah, mate, actually um, follow the seafood diet. If I see it, I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> seafood, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh, but no, nah, pretty much. Uh, I just I live by the philosophy, you know, if it, if it doesn't grow on a tree or come from an animal, then don't eat it, basically. And uh, yeah, I just try and eat everything in moderation as well. And, uh, and yeah, not not too much of, uh, of the you know all the artificial stuff. Try and keep away from that, and uh, make sure you eat protein, and, and make making sure you eat at the right times as well. Um, after uh, after training is always important for recovery and stuff like that. So yeah, exactly. Well, uh, uh, Megan had a question from Victoria. She asked, "Can you tell us a joke?" But I guess uh, there's his seafood joke right there. <laughs> So that, that uh, knocks that question on the head. All right, thanks again for being with us. Uh, drop us some questions. Comment below, please do. Um, any questions for Josh while he's over here? Um, I guess watch next week, and uh, hopefully we'll bring you some more updates on, on our progress leading into the Olympic Games. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, to the sixth episode. Alright, <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, oh, Tam, this is going to be bad today because we're both tired.